That was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. And you know what? I wasn't even going to cover this Trump situation until I heard this bitch say this stupid ass shit. And this is coming from one of the biggest conspiracy theorists, if you've been if you've been following me for long enough. Let's keep it moving, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Now, I know a couple guys did not want me to cover this. To be honest with you, I wasn't even going to cover this until I came across this bitter ass woman right here, bro. And I've covered her a couple of times. So when I saw it was her, I was like, okay. Now, I'm like, now I got to say something. Because as more and more details come out about what happened, in the case, yeah, and if, unless you've been living under a rock, there was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump at one of his um, rallies. Now, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this clip so that way y'all can hear what she had to say. And then I'm going to explain and go over all the details of what I've been finding out from other people covering this why her take on this is is pretty flawed if you ask me without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it that was more staged than a tyler perry production of medea runs for president i lived in harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove <laughs> Where'd the blood come from? So in theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, you know, a lot of people use them in Halloween. It's basically a, a pellet of fake blood that's in your mouth. And when you crush it, the blood comes out. Um, to be frank, Small Hands Trump would not respond by raising his fist in the air triumphantly were an actual attempt made on his life. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh my God. This one. Okay. So let's just play devil's advocate and say that it was staged. If it really was staged, can you explain to me the man that got that ended up unalive saving his daughter and his wife? Can you explain that to me? Can you explain the other person that got injured? Can you explain that to me? Can you explain the shooter that ended up getting unalived afterwards? They literally have pictures and video of that as well. Explain all that to me if all of this was staged. That's what I want to know. And what really pisses me pisses me off, you guys, if you go on social media, I guarantee you will find mostly women that really wish that that shooter did not miss. Because when I go on Facebook, I'm seeing nothing but women make jokes like, damn, like I saw somebody say, damn, the shooter almost made a greater America great again. I'm like, really? Somebody lost their father. Somebody lost their husband because of this shit. Let me tell you something, man. This is... If America wasn't already divided, this event is probably gonna make it even worse. Cause let me tell you something, man. I find it funny because the same women that are complaining about Biden's running office are the same women that wish that that shooter didn't miss. Now, I've also 
and you want to know what's funny i think i think my i think i was i want to say what is it when they do on facebook when they suspend you or they restrict you because you put out information that might be considered misinformation or whatever the case may be i had put a post up of like the cost of living and stuff when trump was in office compared to biden and how ever since biden been in office everything has skyrocketed you know due to inflation and i got restricted for that so there was like certain things that i couldn't do on facebook for like i don't know like 24 48 hours i think it was a combination of that and one of my pictures that i had put up you feel me of that good um you know that good broccoli um, when i was back in thailand but more so it had to do with the trump and biden situation but my question is is that if it was staged again what about the guy that lost his life what about the person that got injured and I think they've confirmed that uh, Donald Trump had to go to the hospital and um, get his ear stitch up and what have you. And <sighs> I tell you, man, I've been living in Harlem to know long enough that well, they don't sound like popcorn. Okay. Ma'am, this, according to they said he was like 130 yards like way or something from that distance of course those shots are gonna sound like that i'm like i've heard gunshots before if they're far away they're not gonna sound the same if they're if they're a lot closer so i don't know where she got that from and i guess because she from the hood she thinks she know better but this the reason why i wanted to cover this because this right here shows you how how divided america is and i mean and when i mean divided i'm not talking about race i'm talking about gender this is why i wanted to cover this because it seems that the only people that really wanted that shooter to not miss are women i'm really i really have not seen a man that's like oh man i wish he i wish he would have um not missed it's women it's women you know it's one thing to sit over here and disagree with you know somebody's outlook and views um be honest with you i'm not really into politics like that um, but this story is so big it's kind of hard to ignore because literally every everybody in this space everybody in this niche on YouTube is talking about it the algorithm is asking for it even though I know a few of y'all didn't want me to cover it but like I said I wasn't going to cover it till I saw her take on it because I'm seeing the same shit on Facebook and it's pissing me the fuck off because the hate is coming from women and not men let me tell you something I'm pretty sure there are plenty of women that don't like me. They go out of their way just to watch me and hit the dislike button. Little do they know it's actually helping me. And I keep telling them that. And they still go out of their way to hit the dislike button. So that's just going to show you how fucking stubborn they can be. But let me tell you something. I would never wish harm or death on anybody that disagrees with anything that I say on my channel. Male or female. But it's really, really disheartening and it's really, really disgusting that I'm seeing this kind of reaction from women of this event. Especially when, and you know how women always saying, y'all don't want to protect us no more. Y'all don't want to protect us no more. But a man protected his wife and his daughter and lost his life for it. Ain't none of y'all talking, about, ain't none of these women talking about that. All they're concerned with is, damn, he missed? Boy, see, now I'm like, I need to, I need to download that future sound clip. It's an evil world we live in. 
bro i guarantee you any of y'all watching this bro if you got a facebook go on facebook and look and see what the women are saying about this i guarantee you i would be shocked if you do not find a woman that's upset because that shooter missed So I will leave, I will end this with this because I ain't want to make this too long because I know a lot of people didn't want me to cover it anyway. I wasn't even going to cover it till I saw that bullshit from Amanda Seals because I've already been seeing it on, on the internet. That's why I wanted to cover it. So before anybody get in their panties in a bunch of, oh, why you cover this and da 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 and you shouldn't cover this. You should just stick to talking about this. Enough of that. If it's one thing that I want to make clear on this channel, I am not trying to keep myself in a box. This is why I cover a little bit of everything. This is why I cover passport bro content as well as relationship, RP, manosphere, whatever the case may be. I don't want to be kept in a box, but I do want to ask you a question. Do you think this was staged or not? That's what I want to know. And let me know in the comments. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's what the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel blog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.